Hello and welcome to the Sky Via Data Flow series. Today's topic is row count component. In this video, we will demonstrate how row count component works and we'll show you how to effectively use it in your data integrations. Row count component counts the number of input rows and writes the result to a variable. It can be useful when you monitor the results of data flow execution and need to count the successfully processed rows and the rows with errors. Let's check the example. Here, we will count successfully processed rows and rows with errors and add them to the data flow results. We have a data flow that gets data from source and based on the condition, it either inserts data into target or updates records there. Target component has two outputs, default and error. Let's add a row count component to each output of our two targets and assign variables we created earlier to each of them. Note that a variable you write a result to should have a numerical type. Once this is done, set up the result settings. Click result on the data flow editor toolbar to open the corresponding sidebar. Specify how to get the success records number and how to get failed records. We use the sum of updated and inserted rows for the success case and a sum of rows that failed to insert or update for the error case. Also, you can build a complex logic and control flow based on results in data flow by setting conditions that include data flow variable values and navigate the further control flow execution depending on those. Row count provides small but very useful functionality that helps you to analyze your data flow execution results and apply further logic based on them. We would be more than happy to read about your experience of using row count component. So, don't hesitate to drop a comment. We wish you a very best day. Bye bye.